Okay, let's take a look at this question. Now the question says, which of the following may occur when a company recognizes an expense? And it asks you to select all that apply. And the answer is expecting you to check total liabilities increase and total assets decrease. All right, now let's see if we can explain this. Here's the accounting equation right here, right? Just these three things are the basic accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. Assets are things we own. Liabilities are things we owe. And the easiest way, at least from my perspective, to, to, to find equity, equity is the residual interest in the assets after the liabilities have been satisfied. Now, with the accounting equation, equity can be further broken down into these items here. So equity increases with new capital, it decreases with dividends, it then increases with sales, and decreases with expenses. So this is sort of an expansion of that equity field right there within the basic accounting equation right here. All right, so let's go through an example or two. Let's assume we have a motor that we use in our facility. Okay, we make something and we, we have this piece of equipment called a motor and we're going to fix the motor, but it's only going to fix the motor for, you know, the next 20 days. So we have, we hire a, re a repairman to come in and he fixes the motor and let's say he charges us $2,000 for it. If we pay him in cash, okay, so we have this motor, fixed motor situation. If we pay him in cash, we're going to say it costs $2,000. Let's use $2,000. Assets will decrease by $2,000 because we will reduce cash by $2,000. And we will record an expense that will increase by $2,000. Okay, now the end result of that on the accounting equation, let me, let me reformat this, reformat all of these so that um, we just use positive numbers and negative numbers with no decimal places. The result is that assets will go down because we reduced cash, cash is an asset, and if we follow our expanded accounting equation, expenses reduce equity. So that would transfer over to 2000 here and we've satisfied this third situation if we incur cash when a company recognizes an expense we will most likely incur an expense as well and as a result assets go down and equity goes down so this third situation exists now how about a situation where we're using accrual accounting and we don't incur cash but instead we agree to pay for it in the future so now and I'm gonna expand this a little bit let's move this out and say fix a motor I'm going to say pay with cash And now I'm going to change it and say, instead, we fix the motor and he allows us to pay us in 30 days. So pay later. Well, what happens here? Well, this is very common in business to business transactions where one business will do work for another or provide some kind of uh, 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 item like material you know you buy inventory from another company in exchange you to pay for it later or they're gonna provide a service he fixes a motor and he said here's your invoice pay it within 30 days well what do we do here well here there's no cash changes hands so there's no impact on on the assets but if we're using accrual accounting we record the expense when it was incurred so it's incurred right now and we still record that 2000 expense, but now 
liabilities go up by 2000 in the form of an accounts payable. We would record an increase in accounts payable. Accounts payable is the account we used, is the account we use to ref reflect what we owe to others for work that's been provided or for goods that have been provided. Accounts payable are providing are provided by our vendors, also you could call them suppliers, in exchange for our promise to pay in the future. All right, so 2000 goes to liabilities and again we know that expenses result in um, a, a decrease in equity. So is our accounting equation in balance? Sure it is. In the first case, we have a 2000 decrease in assets and a 2000 decrease in liabilities and equity. In the second case, we have no change in assets and, to, and an increase in liabilities of 2000 and a decrease in equity of 2000 results in no change as well. So the accounting equation is still in balance. Okay, so through this example, one where we pay for it in cash and one where we agree to pay for it later, we can see that the correct answer to this is uh, which of the following may occur when a company recognizes an expense, a liability may be increased, or assets may decrease.